grateful on all Nigerians to unite, to kill corruption. Because we in Nigeria in particular, if we can kill corruption, we set the pace for other African countries to follow. A call to uprightness by the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Magu. And this is being heeded by those in support of seeing the end of corruption in the country. The federal capital territory Abuja gets the ball rolling to commemorate the 2018 Africa Anti-Corruption Day with the theme, Winning the Fight Against Corruption, a Sustainable Path to Africa's Transformation. Human rights activists, youths, and other stakeholders all step out for a road walk in the Africa Anti-Corruption Day. The crusade is also felt in Kano State, where the march is taking through the metropolis. Here, the head of operations of the EFCC wonders where the plot was lost. In those days, in every community in Nigeria, north, east, south, once the source of your wealth is not known, the community will get, you will just uh, consider it as a discard. Until after the matter investigated that source and find out. If it is good, they will not get you incorporated. But now look at it along the ladder, we have lost all those values. In River State, the drums of awareness are beating. The zonal head of the commission in the South South region is optimistic that corruption can be rooted out. Political corruption and corruption in the civil service, corruption in government agencies is a huge problem and we are starting from there. In Edo and Lagos states, it's all the same message. Corruption must be defeated. The depth and gravity of corruption in our country can be seen in the fact that between January and July 2018 alone, the EFCC has secured 142 convictions. Our country has one of the most extensive and deeply entrenched culture of corruption on the African continent, if not in the whole world. This is manifested in the increasingly large number of corrupt corruption-related investigation, litigation, conviction, and recoveries made by EVCC since 2003. The fight against corruption has remained top priority for the Muhammad Buhari administration, and this day is a reminder that dishonesty in the society will not be tolerated.